to go ahead and introduce David from the program so I don't miss anything. So, here we go, David Hoffmeister. International lecturer on A Course in Miracles. David has studied and applied A Course in Miracles intensively in his transformation of consciousness. He brings to discussion the depth of thought and the ability to use a variety of metaphors and examples to shed light on an array of uplifting ideas. For several years, he investigated the writings, tapes, foundations, and groups which sprang up around A Course in Miracles and sought out to help others and devoted their lives to A Course in Miracles' path to help deepen his own understanding. In 1988, Sounds like that journey begins, right? 1988, David began sharing his ideas from the Course, sprinkled with experiences from his own inward journey. And in 1990, he began traveling to dialogue with others who had devoted their lives to the awakening process. In the summer of 91, David began traveling and speaking on the Course across the country and into Canada. In 92, he addressed the first ever ACIM Eurasia Conference near Loveland, Ohio. In 1993 and 94, he toured the Midwest, conducting the gatherings and intensives, which were recorded on audio tape. In 95, David spent many hours in silence and at a secluded hermitage, and in 96, he founded the Peace House in Cincinnati, Ohio. In 99, the Foundation for the Awakening Mind was established as a publicly supported nonprofit organization dedicated to teaching and learning true forgiveness and awakening to reality. The Foundation makes journals, audio cassettes, video cassettes, and they have talks and gatherings and retreats available to the public on a donation basis. So everything on David's website is on a donation basis, so he's my kind of guy. In 2003, David became an international lecturer on the course and now shares his inspirational ideas on a worldwide basis. So David, come on up. So thank you everyone. It's just wonderful being here uh, at the One Center. To me, One is uh, it's just a, such an expressive idea an experience of what we really are. And uh, I've used the Course in Miracles in my, my best way to hold this here. Um, I've used the Course in Miracles in my transformation, and what I've gone through is uh, what Robin was talking about, a surrender of control, of trying to direct my life and giving it over to the Holy Spirit, the higher power, whatever you'd like to call it. And really going for an experience, because I got to the point where I really started to see that we really don't need more theologies in the world. We have a lot of religions and theologies, but what everybody's going for is that experience of peace of mind, of inner peace. And as we were talking, uh, even the, the drumming that started off about clearing, removing the obstacles, that's, that's what the whole journey to peace is. It's just going within your mind and starting to realize that there's obstacles in there, that there's grievances, that there's hurts. It's a deep seated, very unconscious belief system in separation. And separation and oneness don't go together. So that's why when you work with the Course or any uh, spiritual path that takes you inward to removing the obstacles to the awareness of love's presence, then you really are getting into this experience of inner peace and joy. I travel around the world now and all of the United States and Canada and I would say that I call these gatherings we have uh, enlightenment uh, intensives because it's not any particular path. In fact, uh, it's a joy when I find I just go meet myself over and over and over wherever I go. And it doesn't matter what culture I'm in, uh, it doesn't matter whether the people even seem to speak the language uh, that I speak. Uh, when I've been down to Argentina, they've had, I just did 19 uh, consecutive gatherings down in uh, Argentina in last March, and uh, they had translators following me around, uh, speaking in Spanish, sometimes two translators at a gathering. Uh, when the translators get stuck on a word, uh, people would call out words from the audience, 
Um, this was a, a culture down there in Argentina where there was like uh, uh, probably it's probably 85 percent Catholic, so Jesus is a very powerful symbol. But their economy has collapsed. The children are starving. Uh, they they're kind of reaching a point in consciousness that a lot of people around the world are reaching, where they're desperate for an authentic spiritual experience. You know, they don't want to know theology or to pray to some statue or to some painting or to somebody in a uh, you know, spirit in the sky. They want the actual experience. So what I noticed in all of my gatherings in Argentina was when people came and it was almost like the Bible. There was lots of tears. Uh, people were, were crying. There was lots of, of healing that was going on, spontaneous healing. Um, there was one woman psychologist who just who had such a deep seated hurt that she was crying so much that another woman had to come behind her and put her arms around her and embrace her so the woman could even get her attention out. But it was really a powerful experience for me because it just shows how when you really have a passion for healing and you really, really want to, to have that inner peace, your life may get thrown into seeming havoc or chaos. But as we've just heard, it turns around. And and what Robin was sharing too is uh, I can so much relate to what her and her husband are going through right now, their children, in the sense that, that that's what my life was back around uh, the turn of around 1990, 1991. Because I was being guided, I received the calling to just go around and shine my light and share my joy. and. Uh, initially, my biggest concern was that, that I didn't have any financial backing. Uh, I didn't have CDs in money markets. I, I was not affiliated with any kind of organization or religion or anything. And the thoughts, I mean, I used to talk to Jesus a lot and kind of say, I don't know about where you live, but down here, money doesn't grow on trees. You can't just go in your backyard and shake the tree and have $100 bills come floating down. Uh, but I kept hearing, just have faith, my child, you know, just go shine your light, share your joy, and I'll take care of the rest. And Jesus had said that 2,000 years ago about, you know, look at the lilies of the field, they neither spin their toil, and seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all things else will be added. And so when I got to the course, uh, it was kind of like he was saying, in case you missed it, I've been saying this for like 2,000 years, but uh, there's a passage in the Course that says, once you have accepted His plan, God's the Holy Spirit's plan, it's a one function you would fulfill. There will be nothing else the Holy Spirit will not arrange for you. Without your effort, He will go before you, make you straight your path, and leaving in your way no stones to trip on, no obstacles to bar your way. Nothing you need will be denied you. Not one seeming difficulty, but will melt away before you reach it. You need take thought for nothing except the only purpose you would fulfill. And when I read that passage, it was almost like Jesus was saying, did you get it? I mean, did you get it? Have faith. That's the, the word that you heard. Have faith. So, so I did. I just thought, well, I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket. It might as well be in the basket of faith, just to trust. And after 10 years of college and lots of uh, education and jobs, experiences and whatever, I just felt impelled to start traveling the country. And what happened to me on my very first trip was a five and a half week, week trip that I came out here to California and it was really all over the United States and Canada. I had so many miracles that just kind of knocked my sock off. I mean, it just absolutely blew me away that I would be so well taken care of. You know, I had thoughts that I'd uh, maybe end up like a bag lady on the street somewhere and, you know, but none of that. You know, it was, I went to a lot of Course in Miracles gatherings, I was taken in, 